accounting adjustments problem one. Avocado Company's office supplies account info is as follows. Beginning balance $1,300. Office supplies expense $5,000. Ending balance $2,000. What is the total amount of office supplies purchased? This question deals with accounting adjustments, specifically adjusting the supplies account. There's really four major types of accounting adjustments that we do throughout the accounting cycle. These are the deferrals, which include two specific items, prepaid expenses and unearned revenues. So these are known as the deferral type adjustments, and I'll explain these in a moment. And the other ones are known as the other two are known as the accruals. And these are accrued revenues and accrued expenses. Now the idea is that a deferral, these are items that have been recorded that are deferred aspects of whatever they are. So for example, prepaid expenses, you're, this a prepaid expense is an asset that gets expensed in the future. So the deferral is the deferral of the timing of when you record the expense. Unearned revenue you're recording a liability that turns into a revenue in the future when it's actually completed. So the prepaid expenses, unearned revenues, these are known as the deferrals. And accrued expenses and accrued revenues, these are known as the accruals. Accruals are the opposite. The idea is that you're recording a revenue that you have yet to collect and the expense, you're recording an expense that you have yet to pay. That's what's going on with these four. Now here, we have office supplies. And office supplies, we're given beginning balance, ending balance, the amount of expense during the period of time, and we're asked about the office supplies purchased. So thinking about the four types of adjustments, the four main types of adjustments that we have here, where, where would this fit? Well, one thing you might notice when I was talking about the different types of adjustments, the four types, I talked about assets, liabilities, revenues, expenses. What kind of account is office supplies? Office supplies is an asset. It's an asset type of account. Now, assets are current or future resources to be used by the business. They convert into expenses. So if you buy office supplies, and let's just say you buy a million sheets of paper for printing. When you buy that, that is a current or future resource that your company can use. It can print out receipts, whatever it is, print out papers, information needed, you have that on your books, the office supplies, those million sheets of paper. As you go in time, you're going to use that. And remember, accounting is all about the identifying, recording, communicating of information that's relevant, reliable, comparable. So if you buy a million sheets of paper at the beginning of the year and you only have 600,000 left, you've used 400,000 sheets of paper. The idea is that you shouldn't be show, showing on your books a million sheets of paper at the end of the year. You should be showing uh, 600,000. And you should also record 400,000 use. The 400,000 use is past benefit, which now becomes an expense. So in this problem, this is an example of a prepaid expense type adjustment. We are looking at the office supplies beginning balance, which is $1,300. We know the ending balance. We know this office supplies expense. And then we're trying to determine the amount of supplies purchased. Now there's a formula that you can use for doing this calculation, it's called BASE, acronym BASE, and BASE is relevant in many things, but it also applies in the respective calculation. So in this, for purposes of here, the beginning and ending balance are the B and the E. So you have the beginning balance and you have the ending balance, which we're told those numbers. The A is for add and the S, you got it, is for subtract. So the idea is that you take the beginning balance, you add something, you subtract something, that'll give you the ending balance. Here, we know the beginning balance and the, and the base does apply here. So the acronym BASE, B-A-S-E, does apply here in, or, in order to get this calculation. So the beginning balance we're told in the supplies account, $1,300. Think of that as the amount of, of sheets of paper, the million sheets of paper, whatever, the number of sheets of paper, whatever you want to conceptualize or think about in your head. We end with 2000 so actually, office supplies looks like have gone up. However, we're told that we expensed a certain amount. So the expense amount is going to be the amount that's subtracted away. Because the idea is that if you're adjusting this account, 
If you're adjusting this account, we're going to subtract the amount of office supplies expense. Let me explain something. With that million sheets of paper example, it goes to the adjustment process. You got those million sheets of paper, beginning of the year. Every time you use one of those million sheets of paper, are you going to make a journal entry? No, that would make the system inefficient and ineffective. What you're going to do is at the end of the accounting period, whether it's a month, a week, a year, whatever it is, a quarter, you're going to go and you're going to do a physical count. You're going to say, okay, our beginning balance is a million sheets of paper, which is $1,300. Our ending balance is $2,000 sheets of $2,000 worth of paper, which obviously goes up. Maybe it's um, a million seven hundred thousand sheets of paper. And we also know that some of that paper was used during a period of time. $5,000 worth, a lot of paper there. At some point, you had to purchase office supplies, and that's what the ad is going to be. And that's what we're also solving for. So the office supplies purchased in our formula, and this base will make more sense in a moment. The office supplies purchased will be added. The subtract, we know that amount is uh, the expense, and that's $5,000. So the idea here is you can use base to calculate any of these numbers. So here we're trying to figure out the office supplies purchased, which is the added into this calculation. So what we can do is we can use algebra to basically isolate this amount. We can take the 2000 ending balance. We can subtract away the beginning balance because that's a positive, right? This is a positive number. This is a positive number. It's a negative. So we do the opposite side. So we subtract away the beginning balance. So we start with the ending balance, subtract away the beginning balance of $1,300. We're going to do the opposite of what we did for the office supplies expense. That's the expense amount. We're going to add that because we normally subtract it, which gives us $5,000. And that will give us our purchased amount. So doing that calculation, we get $5,700. So that is the answer. That's the amount of office supplies purchased. Now, again, this is an example. Office supplies are an example of prepay expense. The other types of prepay expense will have prepaid, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, things that you're paying for that in the future will be used and they will go away. They, they will they, they'll become the, the, the past. This is all about timing. Accounting adjustments are all about timing. They are things that you're purchasing like assets or you're recording as a liability that will turn into a revenue or expense in the future. That's the idea. Assets, will become expenses. Liabilities will be, not always, but sometimes can become revenues. Because remember, asset is a current or future benefit. When it's used up, it's now the past, it's now an expense. That's the idea here. That's what adjustments are. Adjustments are all about, we look at the end of the accounting period, which here, say this is the end of the year. We're saying this is what we have, so we need to determine how much we purchase. Now, one thing also I wanna, I wanna note, this formula for base, if I asked you, if I gave you different numbers, let's say I told you the beginning balance was thirteen hundred, ending balance two thousand, and the amount purchased was fifty seven hundred, you could figure out the office supplies expense are five thousand by using the same formula. You could solve for the items. That's why I give you the base formula. So with that, make sure you understand if you have office supplies or prepaids, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, you can do this kind of type of calculation.